Hello everyone, I am Pratibha Jain. I am Master in Science and Bachelor in Education. Today I am going to talk about the various system of human body. There are various system in our human body like digestive system, blood circulation system, muscular system, nervous system and excretory system. There are various system in our human body. But today I am going to talk about only the digestive system. The people said and the doctor said also that uh, the disease cause that what you eat. Right. So now uh, you can see the picture that is a digestive system. Digestive system make with a different organ. You can see in the picture like first it is a mouth then it is the esophagus and liver, stomach, pancreas, gallbladder, large intestine and small intestine and last one is anus. So in the mouth when we put a food in the mouth then the esophagus it is a tube like pipe like structure it is a muscular structure and the food goes in the bag like structure it is called a stomach then the food go in the small intestine you can see this coiled structure then the food go in the large intestine you can see this is the it is the structure of the large intestine now one by one i am going to explain that what is the function of mouth what is the function of esophagus and what is the function of other parts of the digestive system in the mouth in the mouth there are present a uh, salivary so like tongue and teeth the function of this thing a uh, salivary secretion a uh, amylase and the tongue provide a platform we are put the food and the teeth the function of teeth cutting of food grinding and churning right then the uh, in <coughs> after the uh, churning and the chewing of the food the food flow in the esophagus the movement of food it is called a peri Stalsis. The movement of food is called a peristaltis movement. Then the food go is this bag like structure, it is a stomach. The wall of stomach secrete a HCL. It is a hydrochloric hydrochloric acid. The function of HCL is kill the bacteria which are come with the food right and mucus is also present mucus is protect from the HCL right the HCL can damage the wall of stomach so mucus protect from this HCL then many juices are secret in this uh, stomach the stomach is a bag like structure in uh, most of most of digestion uh, at least uh, uh, three to four hour uh, our food stay in this stomach then our food will go in the this coiled structure it is a small intestine the length of small intestine is a uh, approx 7 feet most of digestion conduct in this intestine and the function of small intestine is a uh, absorption and nutrients and it throw the nutrients nutrition in the blood the main function and the main organ is villi. It is a finger like structure that is present in the small intestine. Then the food, the remaining part of the food goes in the large intestine. Right? In the function of large intestine, the absorption and absorption of water and electrolytes. And then the waste remaining part of the food uh, you can say uh, the waste food uh, will remove from the anus and it remove from over the body that is a complete digestive system now one more thing i want to explain 
you can see now again in the next slide uh, you can see uh, this four uh, organ and this a uh, single uh, single part of the our body these are the accessory gland this is a, a two law this is called liver this is a largest gland of, a, of the human body and this structure is a gall bladder and this leaf like structure is pancreas and this is a salivary gland these all are the accessory gland right and then you can see alimentary canal all organ are well connected to each other like mouth esophagus stomach and small intestine only this organ combine to each other that is called a alimentary canal and these are the accessory gland when they both connect to each other that time its combined structure called a that is combined the complete digestive system so when we uh, separate liver and gall bladder and pancreas and salivary gland these are all are the accessory gland and the remaining part is the alimentary canal but when we combine to each other that it's make a complete digestive system so digestive system is very important uh, even i must say that all systems have a different kind of uh, their work and every system have a different uh, type of organ itself so it is a complete our digestive system thank you